All right, everyone. We are on the next one here. Uh, my name is Fia Gloss. I don't know if I'm saying this every video. Um, probably should if I want to be a proper YouTuber, which I am not. Let me just make that clear. I am not a professional. They are, they are way better than me at this. Um, this is called. D um, all right. Let me just. Let me just put a little asterisk next to this is called this is called uh you know with my my terrible american accent and uh <laughs> lack of education um de effectibus and this is by uh Yazorius, or uh, i believe is his name and it's yaz games uh there's a little splash screen but uh, i am not good enough to capture all that here so we're going to go ahead and do a new game. This is described as a puzzle game, a puzzle horror game. Um, I happen to think I'm pretty good at puzzle games, so hopefully this won't be painful to watch. Uh, if not, well, here we are. We are along for the ride, I guess. Uh, taken, to, taken to underground by emaciated hands. Everything is dark here in this terrifying endless space. Am I dead? So the music is very extreme and the graphics are very very stylized all right so we are on a skull head with an up to side down cross or a skeleton I'm assuming by my hand this, re <laughs> this reminds me of okay so there's one, two, three, four, five directions that we can go. We'll start with the one that they put us straight ahead on because that makes the most sense to me. Okay. Clicking a little tower here and we got a little prism. I don't know what you'd call this. Um, click to rotate. Okay, I'm just gonna assume this is what we're going for here um, okay and the fires lit um, oh book of clues I am st I don't need this um, okay Okay. All right. Um, okay. So this is a demo. This is a work in progress, it says. So, uh, okay. So the puzzles here are, so far anyway, kind of in the same mold as each other. All right. Okay, so I, I don't really, it's very abstract, um, so I don't really get a sense of, uh-oh, oh, oh, okay. snapping um okay don't really know what I'm doing here oh there we go okay cool so we got a hand um yeah you know okay this music's a bit overdone for what's happening this is like the building up tension or when the monsters chasing you music and we're just sort of idly exploring this um, cathedral of bones I guess you would maybe call it so I would I would say tone down this music a little bit it's a bit much um, okay so these get more advanced as it goes on Okay, so 
That's going to be the bottom. Um, okay. Is that? There we go. All right. Um, so I know it's going to tell me that this is the demo here, but I am exploring. Okay. Um, all right. So we're, we're sort of exploring this abstract realm of bones and I don't know what these are um, just kind of trying to make make sense of it all um, this I think it said that this is part two of a puzzle series um, so I might be doing it a disservice by having not exactly played part one here I'm just uh, fresh into this here um just kind of wanna I I mean I like the style. It's cool. Um it's very unique. It's very it doesn't really distract from the playing of the game in any way, which is usually the problem with doing something very stylized like this. Um but, um, you know, my only concern really is that we're sort of dropped into this with no idea, like, are we dead or whatever? Um, and so we're dropped into it with that. And okay, now I got a sword. Congratulations, you've played the demo prototype of this, yeah, my second chapter of Deofectibus. Stay tuned to not miss the release of the full free version of the chapter. The Hell Doors reserve you a lot of new high challenges. Yazorius. And I'm hoping I say all these words correctly. Sp spatium, I'm guessing is that one. I doubt it's Spatium. Spatium. So, um, you know, stylized, the puzzle mechanics. Okay. Um, it's not anything super exciting. Um, I'd be interested to see kind of how you advance it without just advancing, um, the complexity of the shape. Uh, cause you know, that's the, the turning it doing a turning block puzzle kind of thing is is fine but after a while you know you're gonna get kind of tired of just turning blocks um and uh i would say like if there's story elements or um answers beyond these that's that's cool and that would probably add a lot to it um but right now it just kind of you're exploring this almost abstract world um, and just seeing sights. It kind of, it almost kind of reminds me of um, a movie. I don't know if anybody's really watched it. It, it was popular for a bit kind of with people who are into horror movies. It was called Begotten. And um, the style of that movie is sort of similar to this game. I, I would not be surprised if the, if Yazorius is, has seen begotten or is kind of inspired by begotten and begotten also sort of plays with this like semi abstract world. It's supposed to be about, a, it's supposed to be a retelling. I think of, um, of the crucifixion cru crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Um, but told in a sort of horror, horror abstract way, something like that. I think, uh, it's been a few years since I've seen it. But I wouldn't be surprised if, if the creator is sort of influenced by that and wants to draw a narrative um, and and put it behind a little more abstraction to make it a, a little more um, alluring and whatnot. So 
as it stands right now, it's um, solving puzzles for puzzles sake. So I'd be interested to see, you know, what kind of story gets added into this. If I find anything out about myself, um, I've said it in a few other videos. I am really kind of not a fan of the, you don't remember, um, thing. Um, it's just not my favorite. And I, I guess I was pretty nice to affection, even though that also kind of did that. Um, I, I'm willing to overlook it. And in this case, I am overlooking it because it's really just not relevant yet to the to the meat of the story. Um, I'll probably check out De Effectibus, um, the first chapter, just to see what how that game plays and if that's kind of the direction the creator is going to take with this one or if it just kind of remains like a an abstract um you know create your own mind story for it uh right now i don't feel like i've got enough to chew on to to make up any kind of story in my head to go along with this and um so from there i don't really know um i don't you know, it's, it's, I think it's in keeping with space because this is about, I mean, it, it's bones and things like that. So it's, it's the space of the inside of your body. And, um, so I, I think it fits with the theme in a, in a good way, in a cool way of taking the word space and not just doing like what I did being like, Ooh, outer space. Um, so that's cool. The space, the, the weird alien hellscape that is the in, inside of our bodies. So that's cool. Um, I think it fits with the theme. Uh, the music, like I said earlier, is a bit intense for what you're doing when you're just sort of exploring. Um, I think it should be a little, little less like in your face. Um, and it's, you know, it's atonal and, and, um, you know, almost sounds like surrealism or something. Um, that's cool, I guess. Uh, I don't mind it, but overall I would say, uh, maybe tone down the music or even, I don't know, just, it just needs, it needs something a little more low key until it gets up ramped up. So anyway, that is, uh, De Effectibus Spat Spatium. Spatium by Yazorius. Uh, thank you, and I'll be playing the next one here next.